But this is a 100% pure Angus beef patty. It looks terrible, but it tastes amazing. Be free. Morning. Time for a new adventure. I'm standing here just outside of wilderness in the garden route of South Africa, well known for its hippies. It's a beautiful scenery, marijuana and cheese. Uh, I'm on my way to Pittenberg Bay. I'll have to speak close to the camera, it's so noisy. I'm on my way to Pittenberg Bay. I'm gonna stay there for two nights and record Pittenberg Bay, but I'm kind of making my way through the garden route to the east coast of South Africa. I'm trying to escape winter because I don't like the cold and the rain. Wish me luck on the road today. I'm gonna hitchhike now, it's not too far. And I think this is gonna be easier than hitchhiking outside of Bloemfontein in the freeze. That was horrible. Okay, let's see how it goes. I didn't wait too long, about 10 minutes, got a lift. Glad, but only to Nysa, but from Nysa it's a short bit to uh, Peter McBay, so not a bad start. And I'm happy, man. The Garden Route of South Africa is one of the most beautiful and popular stretches of coastline in South Africa. It officially starts at Mossel Bay and ends at Storms River and it is 300 kilometers long. Naisna is a bustling town and it is popular with both local and international tourists. It is known for its indigenous forests, fainbos, rivers and lakes, as well as its biologically diverse estuary. Walking through the beautiful city of Naisna, coastal city down the main road, this used to be very, very popular with tourists. Beautiful place, lagoon, beautiful tourist attractions, all kinds of adventures. It's been neglected apparently for the last decade or so. I don't know, bad local governance, whatever. Usual story in South Africa. But it's still a beautiful place to come and visit, but this is not our focus. Our focus is Petermerg Bay today. So I'm just gonna pass through here and hopefully get a minibus taxi because Petermerg Bay is very close to here. I should be able to get a minibus taxi for really cheap. Let's go. Here I am in the taxi rank. I think we just missed the full taxi, so this might take a while. But I've just been warned by a vegetable seller, be careful here. This place is not what it used to be, it's unsafe, so take care of your stuff. So I wouldn't advise the average tourist to come to the taxi rank and take a taxi anyway. I just arrived in Petermerg Bay, it was an easy traveling day, one of the easier so far, quick and cheap, cost me 60 Rand to get to the taxi from uh, Nysla to here was only 30 Rand. And as you can see, very green all along the way, that's why it's called the Garden Route. Excited to check out Plet. I have to find a place I'm staying at now and then I will start showing you what Petermerg Bay is all about. Well, I've been thinking for a while to do my own little tours, so, you know, at some point free wild world tours, out of the box tours to interesting places with interesting stuff, adventures and stuff. If you think that's a good idea uh, and you would like to see any places specifically in South Africa you think would make a good tour, leave a comment in the comment section. Spoke to a guy here, when I arrived he said I can walk there to the guest house, I tried to phone him but I got the wrong number. 
But uh, so I'm going to take a walk down there. Apparently it's close to the beach. Or I have to walk down to the beach. So I can start showing you a bit of this place. And that's what we're doing now. We're taking a walk through town towards the guest house. 113 on Roberg. Plettenberg Bay forms part of the garden route. It is a popular holiday destination and is known for its surf breaks along its golden beaches, the Robert Peninsula, indigenous forests, unpolluted rivers and its vineyards and wine estates. The Beacon Isle Hotel Long ago this iconic building was the site of a whaling station. Let's do first impressions. It's definitely bigger than I remember. It's a lot different from nice another town I came from now where I got the taxi from. It's a bit more of a suburban feel, not so laid back holiday feel. But obviously it is a very holiday -y. A lot of tourists come here. It's very neat. Uh, at the start of the town it looks very suburban like, but as you come down to the beach it's more like prettier, greener, but it looks very well kept. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of people here, a lot of restaurants and I see boards for activities, jet ski rentals, all kinds of stuff, adventure activities going down here. So obviously very popular with tourists and a lot to come. The place has a distinct upper middle class enlightenment feel to it. As if the cool Gautengers that found the light all moved down here together with their fancy cars and gold watches. Just met my friend Jonathan, a very old friend, I haven't seen him for years. And he said he's going to take me to the place that's got the best hamburgers in town. So this is a good start, right? Let's check it out. So it's like a little permanent market type of vibe, little shops. And eateries all over the place in the square and apparently this is the burger for a hundred rand which is about what less than ten dollars seven dollars or something you get this amazing filling healthy burger and Jonathan is buying me lunch lucky me You guys make the best hamburgers in town, is that true? Yes. And they sell the best burgers in the, in the world. Why is it so good? You have to eat it. It's raining so it's a bit cut. But this is a 100% pure Angus beef patty. It looks terrible but it tastes amazing. Thanks John. Just arrived at the backpackers 113 on Roberg and it's really cool and neat the room which I like and there's this huge bed what am I gonna do with this huge bed man I need a I need some visitors to, I think our whole family can fit in this bed it's got my TV I've got a little nook I can work on Neat bedding, neat bathroom, little pool outside, and I can see monkeys playing in the trees outside. It's a really cool spot, I'm happy. Thank you guys. In the center of town came with Jonathan. He's going to a little thrift shop here. The thrift thing is big everywhere these days. So we're gonna check out a thrift shop, then do some groceries and see what else we find and possibly go have a beer at a place called Surfies. There's a lot of surface around there, next to the sea, you know, island vibes.
clear it. This is not your average thrift shop. It's like a classy thrift shop of amazing stuff. Well worth checking out. We are at a shopping mall type of place where you can buy your shopping and Pletenburg Bay is big enough that you have everything you will ever need. There's not a lack of anything here. This is like a one big shopping center where you can buy your groceries, you can buy your saw bay, you can buy your writing material, uh, you can buy your cheap clothes, your expensive clothes, whatever you need, it's all here. So Jonathan shopped at the Lani place with the fancy stuff. I go to the normal place, so you've got options. All within walking distance. Good old local Sashikama water. Chicken, 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 chicken. I need subscribers so I can buy cover yarn, steaks and shit. Please subscribe. Thanks. Of course, this is the most important part. The vino is my takeaway. We're going to have a beer at the Surf Cafe. Apparently, that's a cool spot to have a beer, so let's check it out. Live music vibes, good craft beer, seems cool. I had a good sleep last night, the mattress is excellent and that's one of the things I'm looking for when I stay at a place. I live a very physical life, I walk a lot and I need a good sleep to do my job. Mattress, perfect and it, it's very neat and tidy here, and that's the stuff I look for and there's attention to detail. But today we have a problem because it's rainy and windy outside and this is not vlogging weather. So I'm going to stay here and edit a few hours and hope the weather lifts and become better because I need a good weather gap to walk around and take video and see what we find. That's how I do it. So let's see what happens. Otherwise this is going to be a short and boring vlog but uh, I'm hoping it will lift. Let's see what happens today. Well, the bad news is the weather is not getting better, it's getting worse. But the good news is you do get Uber in this town. And I think I'm just going to do my best. I have to do something. I'm here now. This is one of the reasons I'm moving up the east coast towards the east coast of South Africa to avoid the winter because this weather is not conducive to my style of vlogging. But I'm going to show you with the can as much info as I can about this town, seeing that I'm here. Remember, this is actually a summer town, so this is like a holiday town and summer is a totally different vibe, but we are here now, so let's see what we can do. Let's go to town, we're going to get some food, and I'm going to show you what I can in this weather. I'm going out anyway, the problem with the Ubers are, I don't think they are that many, and they are just not available. And the other taxi, you get more taxis here in this town, but they're way more expensive, so I'm just braving the weather and going to town anyway, walking a couple of kilometers in this weather because I'm committed to do this vlog and do this town now because I'm here.
So I actually started walking down the street because I just need to do something. I'm only here for another day. And I got Jonathan, my friend, coming from the opposite side. And he gave me a lift to the center of town. It's quite far. Not sure. I will we'll get back probably walking. But uh, so I'm just going to show you what I can. This might be the cuckest vlog ever. But at least I'm going to try. I'm going to put in the effort to just show you what's in town in Peter McBay. So I just walked into this little shop and it's a typical shop where you can buy all kinds of stuff for your summer house next to the coast. It's quite nice stuff they've got here. So, okay, here's the first shop in the middle of the plate. Just ran into another cool shop, so there's a lot of little cool shops here with nice things. Um, obviously very empty today, but uh, let's check it out. This is a box to keep your fire lighters in. South Africa we braai, so braai accessories are important. That was just another place you can buy your lani, nice stuff for your new house to plate in. So the whole town, is, this is definitely not a sleepy type of village type. This is like a quite posh, uh, lots of nice restaurants and shops with good quality stuff. So it's more upmarket, quite different from like I know where. So there's a place for everything in life and this is just that type of town. Very popular next to the coast, sunny, summer. Beach holiday vibes, good food, champagne in your lani house, and chilling. Okay, this is the chef. Uh, introduce yourself and tell me about your food in the restaurant. Hi there, Tyrone from the Palms restaurant. Our food is very classic, uh, simple, common flavors. Let's put, together, put well together. I think uh, just the combination and the twists on the dishes make it quite unique to actually plate as a, as a destination. Cool. Uh, special, speciality dish or something? What do you... Speciality dish for myself would probably be creme brulee, but over here would probably be our chimichurri fillet. I walked from the center of town down to the place where you can buy groceries again where all the, the big shops are and it's quite far. I'm gonna try and get a minibus taxi back. It's a couple of kilometers but it was downhill. But that's the one thing about this place. You need your own transport or money for a decent taxi. The Uber doesn't seem to be very reliable and everything is very far apart so that is a bit of a problem. But if you have a car and you're posh enough for this place and then that's not a worry for you but this is not really for low budget traveling. It's not like a small town where you can walk everywhere. But it's a nice town. In the taxi but I have to stay there's no space but it's not far and it's only 10 rand to the center of town and then another taxi to where I'm staying at. In the second taxi so you can do it by minibus taxi uh, obviously cheaper and uh, maybe I have to do a bit of walking then but it's possible. So it can be done if you're on a budget and you're staying at this guest house 
One man free on Robert. You can get a minibus taxi straight here. Goes past here all the way to town. For 20 bucks. That's a bargain, man. Right here. I would say that qualifies as mission success. I got to town despite the rain. I showed you a little bit of town and showed you the vibe more or less. One restaurant. I got to buy groceries. And what I'm going to do now is make some food in my little nook here. Kitchen nook. A nice stew. And because it is a rainy day and cold outside, I got some sherry as well. Like one does in a day like today. This will be my day, drinking sherry, making a nice stew, and editing the rest of the day. Got loads of work, always lots of work. And how friendly were those people on the taxi, man? So that's another thing I showed you in this vlog. You can get from this side of town to that side of town on a minibus taxi for cheap. And this type of thing you can do in any town. You can, there's always ways to get buy and do things if you're on a budget and uh, yeah that's great man and the people were friendly and it was so cool I really had a good time and they took my card I got a subscriber got new subscribers you guys in the taxi thanks for subscribing and being friendly and uh, yeah man so I've got something for the blog it's going somewhere finally let's see what more we get we've got another 24 hours to go rainy day stew meat potato and rice stew if you are traveling on a budget and you find yourself in cold weather this is the perfect comfort food to warm you up and put some zing in your cold body. Don't worry too much about specific measurements for this one. Just feel it out. Step 1. Caramelize a few onions. Remove from pan and place in a pot. Step 2. Braise the pre-spiced beef stew and add to the onions in the pot. Step 3. Pour yourself a glass of sherry to ward off the chills. Step 4. Deglaze the pan of red wine and add it to the meat and onions. Step 5. Mix a packet of brown onion soup with cold water and put the liquid to the side. Step 6. Add tomato puree into the mix and continue braising over medium heat for a few minutes. Step 7. Add the soup mix and let simmer for an hour. Step 8. Put rice into water and let it soak. Step 9. Chop potatoes and add to the pot. Simmer for another 30 minutes. Step 10. Add the rice and simmer until the rice is soft. Your food is ready. I've got another night I'm staying here, possibly tomorrow night as well. The weather is still really cuck. But I was just standing in front of the house and I saw what I thought was a dog down there, but it's a baboon. And I saw monkeys the other day, so. Like in the suburbs here on Plitamuk Bay, you can get some wildlife, African wildlife baby. I'm here at Central Beach. This is one of many beaches around here. And if I had more time, I would show you more beaches, but this is the main beach. And a pumping vibe here in summer. You can imagine in summer, parties on the beach and a big swell today. Check it out. I just finished shooting a video there at the guest house and back at the taxi rank and I didn't get a lot of this town, too much rain everything is very far apart so I don't have my own transport so it's difficult to get to everything so I'm going back to Mosa Bay to edit and coming back down here and I'll probably pop in here again at some point to get more footage but uh, it's not nearly enough for a vlog I think or a decent vlog also I'm working a TV program I'll tell you more about that soon and I nearly I didn't, definitely didn't get enough for a TV program, so, but we'll pop in again. The people of the guest house were very, very nice. And I said, if I come here again, they will show me around. So, this will have to be continued soon. I sent out a few more emails and lo and behold, the tourism office came back to me with another accommodation sponsor. Thank you to the folks at Forest Gate Echo Estate. Here I am, back in Plettenberg Bay and the sun is shining. I'm here with this beautiful place surrounded by pristine nature with birds singing and a little dam type of thing in front here with reeds and it's called Forest Gate Estate just in front of Plett I'm staying here three nights until Monday and we're doing the Plettenberg Bay vlog finally with sun Apologies for the bad sound in parts of this vlog I'm trying out new gear 
So we have a little Mexican themed restaurant here. It's quite festive. I've got pizza here, real burning fire pizza. And I'm sure they have cheap tequila as well, I'm sure. We'll see. Me and Frida Kahlo are here, we're checking out the menu. So I think I will possibly definitely try a pizza. It's quite extensive. Breakfast shakes, hot drinks, soft drinks, starters, tacos, fajitas, quesadillas, toasties, salads, burgers and grilled pizzas, obviously. Size and extras, it's quite an extensive menu and very Mexican based. Right, let's see what we have here. It's a fun based pizza, average size. Loads of cheese. Nice crust, perfectly cooked, brown. Underneath, not overcooked, not burnt. Got some chilies on the side and garlic. And a beer. What more do we want? Perfect Friday night meal. Oh. Check it out. Mm. This is good. <laughs> chili, a bit of a chili voice there. Happiness. I just woke up much later than I anticipated. And for some reason, this is the deepest I've slept in. It feels like years. I was gone, man. <laughs> I feel refreshed. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's something in the air, but look at this view. Oh, look at what I wake up to. And it's nice to wake up to a nice picture in the morning, you know. It makes you feel relaxed and good. Cut this nice wedge wood angels nougat biscuit. It's always nice when people put something extra special with the coffee. And I suppose that will be breakfast, man. Breakfast is included in your stay. Something I only found out later. The only bad thing for me is that this place is a couple of kilometers outside of town and I need to go vlog in town, obviously. So I'm just gonna see if I can catch a minibus taxi here. A lot of cars down here, obviously. I'm back where I started in Plettenberg Bay a couple of days ago but this time the sun is shining and it's a perfect beautiful day so the problem here is everything is far apart and I don't have my own transport so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna walk around and see how far I get and show you whatever happens that's all I can do let's hope it's gonna be a good vlogging day walking down which seems to be the main road that passes through the center of town and I showed you a few shops last time I'll see if I get something new and more interesting this time while oh, the sun is out what's up my name is Peter this is flatting we do tattoos piercings clothing furniture sometimes property Best coffee in town, ranked number six out of 200 restaurants by Restaurant Guru. Hope to see you here soon. Tell me about the guitars. Okay, so we have a few here. We've got an old school Flying V. Um, this is uh, a new school one made by Quartz. It's actually really um, nice to play. Very chunky. 
Got the original Floyd Rose pickup system. This is a 67-68 Vox Ace. There are very few of those made in England back in the days, but um, quite a legend guitar. I picked it up in a, in a pawn shop for 50 bucks. It needs a lot of work though. Um, but it has most of the electrics, which is pretty cool. And then we have a little guitar in the corner there. It's got its own little amp and speaker built into it. Runs on a battery for when you want to have like a portable something. And then we have lots of other guitars hiding behind doors and there's like you'll see there's a five string bass and another couple of guitars and we've got sound systems and we also have plate sound runs out of flat ink so if you need sound or you need a DJ or something we're here a little bit of everything welcome to plate I would say that's a pretty good start to the day you know when the sun is out everybody wants to talk everything is open the whole mood changes so thank God for the sun Random artwork in town, which is cool. Always nice to see. Lots of nice lifestyle type of shops here and surfing stuff. This is not specialist surfing, apparently there's a specialist surfing down here because it's next to the sea, this stretch of coastline down towards Transkei where I'm heading. There's a lot of surfing going down, surfing competitions apparently in Jeffrey's Bay soon as well. So yeah, lots of surfing, lots of lifestyle, beach lifestyle type of vibe. So this is the type of stuff you get here, it's a very upmarket vibe, nice uh, shops, nice little restaurants, upmarket restaurants and uh, so it's a more of a bit of an exclusive vibe next to the sea and it's cool, it's nice stuff here. Very different from a small career down in the middle of nowhere but like I always say every place is completely unique. plan last night because it was Friday night was to show you the nightlife but I don't have transport to town so but in the building in the back here is a place called Flashbacks and apparently that's the place where you can dance and hang out and there's DJs playing there a dance place in town I wish I could check it out but hey what can you do <laughs> So that is like the hardcore for real surf shop. So if you're traveling down the coast, if you surf boat and you break a leash or you need some more sex bomb or whatever surfers use, you can come and get it here. This is like more like a sport type of shop. So if you're into fishing, you can buy fishing rods and stuff here.
that is obviously a seafood type of place. Very funky, this whole town has got a funky type of surfy feel to it. Very colorful, girly shop, but there's some amazing stuff in here. You don't find anywhere else. I've never seen stuff like that anywhere else. We have to come and visit, but uh, don't give your wife your credit card. Let her use her own. What a huge difference a bit of sun makes. See, that's why I have to go to places where the sun shines and where it's warmer. That's my job. I'm a vlogger. I need to go where the sun is. I can't help myself. This looks so good. I'm going to have to have a homemade pie. So can I have the, the your speciality one? You said the sweet and sour chicken. Yes, all homemade here. Easy day. So it's simply a little just before I start drinking the beer and stuff, I should get some nourishment. So <laughs> it's past the beer o'clock, you know? Yup, that's it. It's beer and quiet. Even have them together. Great cross. Mm. It's a full pie, that's like a garage pie, it's a little bit there. You know, exactly, that's it. And we put it extra, mm. so it's full, full, full. So the lamb and mint, all the beef. So good. And um, it's packed, and that jalapeno you know, gives it a little bit mm. to eat. It's got a real kick, it's not a fake kick. Yeah. It's amazing and the crust is unique. Yeah. Really cool crust. Good. I recommend. So this is Hobie Beach. Beautiful view. They've got these platforms all over the place and uh, it's great. Because you can just relax. I see there's some fishermen over there. You can just relax and hang out and check out the sea smell. The sea smells wonderful. And what goes Wolf Beach Beer Of course Cheers, a beautiful day here Just across from the lookout platform There was this funky little place Right out of a Magnum PI episode called The Bungalow What a lovely little place. So can you imagine summer here? There's a swimming pool here and a cocktail bar and I even have a room here. See there's a room in the back so you can come here, check out the ocean, swim in the beach, run around on the beach, jump in a pool, have cocktails, sleep over. Damn man, sounds like a good plan to me. <laughs> There are many activities to do in the area like swimming with seals and whatnot. I will compile a little list and put it in the description. This is actually the ski boat club, so this is where all the fishermen hang out probably after days of fishing or going out in the ocean. And I must say this is the nicest ski boat club I've seen in my life. So cool. <laughs>
very pleasant beach day it's winter now so it's all quiet but even for a winter's day the sun is shining I'm wearing a t-shirt and it's really pleasant I can just imagine how it must be here in summertime in December South African holidays this place must be fun Well, you know how the old saying goes, when in doubt on a sunny day, drink a beer. I'm back in beautiful Transkei here at Port St. John's. You can probably see all the greenery around me. Happy to be here for a while, the sun is shining. And I'm not sure what's going to happen next, uh, we'll see. I've got a few ideas. But I just want to say thank you to the people who have supported me so far. I'm doing this on a shoestring budget, basically with nothing. And if it wasn't for a bit of help here and there, I wouldn't be able to do this. So the channel is still growing slowly. I think we are getting somewhere, but uh, I love doing this. So thanks for the support, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next vlog just after six made it through the night yeah. now we're still here waiting for the sun and i've got my friends here yes. my new friends that spend the night with me talking all night i talk all night i slept all night what's your name 